I am so glad that you clicked the link to find out about the three mistakes passionate women make. My name is Priscilla, and I created this based off of my own life experience and through talking with women about how to get unstuck in life. I talked to mentors, I read books, and I did my own self-study and how to free myself for, from feeling stuck in my passions. And it was only then that I was able to tap into how to fix these mistakes in a way where I can share it with you. Women began asking me questions because they wanted to find out why they were getting stuck. They wanted to connect the dots with the reason that they felt held back. Now, how this came up for me kind of trickles back to childhood. When I was a little girl, I felt really, really shy. I had a hard time even introducing myself. I would get so chucked up to the point that I was even unable to speak. Many of us go through this during different phases in our lives where we have a challenge in speaking our voice. For me, this led to becoming a young mom and then eventually a single mom. That led me down a path of asking a lot of deeper questions, such as, as a single mom, am I going to be able to provide for my family? Can I do this alone? Can I go after the promotion at work? Can I go after my goals and the big dreams that I have? And can I achieve them? Am I ready to take those big steps? And the truth was that I really wasn't ready. I had to peel back the layers as I discovered more and more about myself. Now, you don't have to have had my experience to feel stuck in life. Many women experience this and they find themselves asking, how am I going to position myself to ask for that raise? How am I going to know what I'm worth? How will I figure out what I'm passionate about? What do I want to achieve? As I found my passions, I started to find my voice. And for many women, this is when we start wanting to make the connections, the deeper connections, and have that support system around us to be able to ask the questions. But this in itself can really lead to something that feels like such a long journey. I get so emotional when I think about this part because it isn't an easy path when we feel like we have nowhere to turn and no one to ask the questions to. But the truth is, all we really have to do is look inside ourselves and understand ourselves on a deeper level. Find our authentic, unapologetic self. So many women are stuck in ways of life that don't really support them getting there. And it doesn't help them live the life that they want to live. Nor do they have the circle of support that they really need when it counts the most. My goal in the videos I create are to empower us to live unapologetically and authentically, to be proud of what we've accomplished, and to really feel as if we are living out as our whole selves in life. I would be so honored if you would join me live in the webinar. So check your email, check out the PDF, and if it supports you, join me live. If you stay till the end, you'll hear some of the common questions that many women have around this topic. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to email them back to me and I will cover your questions at the end. So hope to see you at the live webinar.